This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, markets were a disappointment in what has been a year of disappointment. Inflation continues to run hot and reached its highest level in more than four decades in May, when the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, rose 8.6% from the same month a year ago, marking its fastest pace since December of 1981. Now, some of the high inflation was driven by especially sharp increases in the services sector, as consumers are now shifting their spending away from goods they bought for their homes during the pandemic and now towards experiences as the world reopens. Airline prices rose 38% year over year, while hotel prices gained 19%. May's increase was also driven in part by sharp rises in the prices of energy, up 34.6%, and groceries, up 11.9%, the biggest increase since 1979. Now, the markets immediately dropped on the news, pushing yields higher and stocks lower as the market priced in a more aggressive Federal Reserve. The Fed's moves are to cool off a red-hot economy, but analysts are nervous they may be too hawkish and might overdo it and slow the economy too much. The Fed meets this week, and the market will be watching. What they want to see is some clear and convincing evidence that the Fed has control and can pull this off and actually bring the economy in for a soft landing. They are widely expected to raise the Fed funds target range by a half a percentage point. But with May's hot inflation report, investors are nervous the Fed may be even more aggressive or forecast a faster pace of future rate hikes. This has been a year of good and bad news. And unfortunately for the markets, bad news tends to come on an installment plan. So expect the news on inflation and other headwinds to continue to disappoint. See, that's what happens in corrections in bear markets. Fear convinces investors that temporary headwinds are insurmountable and will only get worse, creating more panic sellers than buyers. But markets will recover long before the news gets better, and there won't be an all-clear signal telling you when. My guess is we won't have a hard economic landing, or even a soft one, but more of a bumpy economic landing. Yes, bad news does come on an installment plan. But one day, and I hope that day is near, the plan will be paid in full. My son Ryan and I have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692 or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.